hello guys uh, welcome to our channel once again so today we are going to chat about a feature where you can pass a data table or the complete data set to a store procedure in ADF activity so you might have already used store procedure activity in Azure data factory but most of the time you would have used uh, passing different parameters either in either in teaser or var care but there is a hidden feature through which actually you can also pass a data table and there are many use cases which you will come across where you can actually apply it like just to give an example suppose uh, you are getting a file from your source which is a denormalized form and you have to pick some columns and populate one table and you have to pick some more columns and populate other table so from a single source you are trying to populate multiple different destination tables however this can be achieved using multiple different ways also in data flow but you all know how costly data flow is so we are just trying to see how we can achieve within azure data factor copy activity itself this particular use case then there can be some uh, uh, other use cases like you have to perform some validation before you insert data because copy activity what it does is it will simply uh, it will overwrite your destination table you cannot perform any kind of validation like foreign key or some bad data which you want to filter out before you insert data so those kinds of validation also you can perform so third use case I can think of is suppose you are calling uh, a child pipeline in a for each activity you are running multiple uh, pipelines and each pipeline run execution status you want to lock using your store procedure activity and and you don't want to call your store procedure that many number of times suppose you have uh, 20 child pipeline execution and you don't want to hit your SQL uh, procedure 20 times so what you can do is you can keep on accumulating uh, your execution stats for, e for each execution and it at the end of that you can pass each activity each uh, execution status in one go to store procedure so that can be one use case where you can apply this so let's go and see how we can achieve this so what i have done is as a preparation i have i have created two tables so one is suppose employment table emp which has employee number employee name and salary the other one is department okay and our data would look something like this so here it's a single file which has data for both the tables now i need to split uh, employee related data into employee table and department related data into department so i have two tables okay so first thing we have to do is we have to create a user defined data type table data type which will have all the column which i am expecting from source employee number employee name salary department number department name so all the five column which i am expecting i have created now what i will do is i will create another store procedure where i will use this data type as a parameter and within this i am filtering out saying that okay if i'm getting these three columns i'll pick from this data, uh, table variable and insert here and these two department related uh, data i'll insert into department so here you can uh, do multiple other thing whatever is required as per your requirement this is the simplest form i've tried to create okay so now we'll see how we are going to configure this in data factory so important part here is uh, a copy activity the source remains same as is there is no specific requirement you can configure it as per your uh, source sync is the important part here if you go to the data set sync data set here you need to configure your sql table and this part when we say table this value or this name should match exactly with your parameter name this is the trick part here so whatever name you are giving here should exactly match here so once you create a data set with this now you go to copy activity and you say store procedure you have to select your store procedure as soon as you select it and you say import parameter it identifies that you have a table type okay 
so here this is the table type you need to tell which table type it is so our table type name is empty department so we have given empty department here so with this way we are able to pass our data table what we are getting from source directly to store procedure okay so let me execute and before that i can see my table should be empty yeah, so right now it not it is not having anything let's see so there is some error we will see what is that okay so i have identified the problem so what was happening was we have missed to give dbo here this is the important part we have to provide a schema as well and the type parameter name was wrong instead of emp department we have to give the full parameter emp department because this is the parameter in our store procedure it should match exactly with this so once we correct this we are able to execute and let's see how our data looks like select yeah now you can see here you see four record and here you see two record now if you are wondering why we do not have four records here because what i have done is i even am selecting department i said distinct because same employee may belong to multiple different departments so what we can do is we can we can only select the distinct departments so this is how we can pass our complete data table to store procedure and do whatever activity activity we want to do thanks guys thanks for watching thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks